If you followed me for any length of time, then you know I am passionate when it comes to being able to work from anywhere. And I'm proud to be able to say that over the last four to five years, I've generated both side income and full-time income as a freelancer and a blogger. And I'm super proud of that and super excited. And usually the question I get is, Gertrude, I wanna start working from home. I wanna be able to start working from anywhere, but I don't know how to get started. And so in today's video, I really wanted to give you a blue print that will allow you to start taking those steps that will allow you to create a career for yourself that you can really practice from anywhere. Hey there bosses, Jean Entre here. Welcome to my channel once again. If this is your first time on this channel, on this channel I give you tips, resources, and strategies on how to make a living on the line. If that sounds like music to your ears, you want to learn more, then here's what you should do. You should smash that subscribe button to join our community. The very first thing you're going to need if you want to start creating a career for yourself that you can work from anywhere is a monetizable skill or talent. And we could go and so many directions on this. I do have a couple of videos I'm going to link up here that you can check out where I talk about skills that you can use to create careers online. So I highly recommend that maybe you open that in another window and watch this after this video. When it comes to a monetizable skill or talent, it doesn't have to be something that maybe you even already know. All right. I am a trained scientist and when I wanted to start working online, I looked at so many things and one of the things that really rang true with who I am was freelance writing and so over the last two to three years that is what I have been doing uh, because it's a natural strength for me now I've had to buy courses I've had to buy material to help me improve upon my skill so even if you don't have a skill but you have something that you're already good at you could go ahead and go on websites like Udemy go on websites like Skillshare and I'll link I'll leave links to both both of those websites below this video and you can learn and add on to any innate skill or any innate talent that you already have and even if you think you're not talented because once in a while I come across people like that then once again these places are places where you can go to learn the ins and outs of a particular skill that you can get paid for the second thing you need, all right, once you've got that monetizable skill, is a way to get paid. And thankfully, these days, there are multiple ways to get paid. If you live in the U.S., you can use a tool like PayPal. I use PayPal a lot for invoicing and for billing my clients and for getting paid. And once I invoice my clients and they, get, and they pay me, it comes straight into my account. The thing I love about it is that I can connect it to my accounting app, which is Wave Apps. And once I'm able to connect it, towards the end of the year when I'm finally like rendering accounts and trying to figure out how much I have to pay in taxes and and all that good stuff I can simply go in there just categorize my um, my expenses categorize the income that I made and be able to report that correctly to the government so it's absolutely important for you to be able to get have a way to get paid so PayPal is one of those another one is stripe uh, I know some people who even get paid by money transfer um, especially if you do not live in the US or in the UK or somewhere else where um, PayPal or Stripe or some of these other payment portals work because I do know that not all the payment portals work in all over the world and so sometimes people need to send it directly to a bank account and such and so if that's the case then you need to set something like that up that means you will need to go to the bank and open a bank account and so whatever it is you need to have to get a way to get paid so that once you you finally get that first person to buy whatever it is you're selling whether that's a skill or a course or whatever that that person will have a place to send you the money third thing you're gonna need is an internet connection and this is absolutely important because in order to be able to work from anywhere usually you need an internet connection with the exception of certain skills and even as I'm thinking about it, I still think you're going to need it. So, for, so the skill I'm thinking about, for instance, is like something like uh, photography. So if you are a photographer, then you really need your camera and the people to take pictures and then to deliver it to them. But even then, 
you'll need an internet connection to, co to communicate with them maybe via email or to send those photos to them um, and so on and so forth. So I think an internet connection is always important. As a freelance writer, it's absolutely important for me to have an internet connection because I'm going to be using internet for research. I'm going to be using internet to communicate with my clients. I'm going to be using the internet to even bill my clients. And so that is absolutely important for me. And the beautiful thing is that once I have an internet connection, wherever it is that I am, I can get that work done. And so recently when I took my vacation to Ghana, West Africa, where I'm originally from, I was able to work from my house because I was able to get an internet connection and get the work done. And it was a really super fast internet connection. And so as long as you're able to get an internet connection, even if it's like so so i think for the most part you can get things done but if once you start making money from whatever it is that you're doing i really highly recommend that you invest in high speed internet because it will help you be way more efficient and will help you make way more money <laughs> the next thing you need once you have that skill once you have that way to get paid once you have that internet connection is for you to have a marketing plan. Now, a marketing plan is simply how you are gonna get the word out about your business, right? So if you nobody knows about your business, if nobody knows you're a freelance writer, nobody knows you're a photographer, nobody knows that you are a blogger, nobody knows you have this amazing YouTube channel, right? Nobody is going to find it and nobody is going to patronize it, right? And so for me as a freelance writer, my marketing plan consists of reaching out to people on LinkedIn, reaching out to people on Twitter, reaching out to people anywhere where I think my ideal client in the healthcare industry exists, reaching out to them via email and saying, hey, I'm a freelance writer and I would like to write for you. And usually it's a yes or a no. And it's, it's just like any other product out there, right? You probably buy your specific brand of toothpaste because you have been subjected to marketing Marketing material from that company and so the more you put yourself out there the more you're going to get people to say yes to the more you're going to get people to buy your services to buy your products and so I absolutely highly and absolutely and highly <laughs> recommend that you have a marketing plan what is the plan that you have for letting people know about your business if you haven't figured that out you don't have a business because if nobody knows about your business nobody is going to pay you and then number five, I think you absolutely need this if you want to work from anywhere. I really think that you need to get your finances in order, especially when you start making money. Um, because the trap that a lot of us can fall into is when we start making money, we'll just spend it on, you know, our, you know, on our lifestyle. Um, and that's okay. You know, we, we all need to pay rent. We all need to buy food. We all need to have some fun, right? So that is okay. But you have to do it in such a way that you're able to render accounts, especially if you live in somewhere like the US where you're going to have to be paying taxes, where you're going to have to report on the income that you've made in a specific year, even if it's $5,000, right? So you want to be able to have your payment portal. And I alluded to this earlier. You want to have your payment portal connected to some kind of accounting app and for me that's wave apps uh, and I love it once again I'll leave the link to that below I absolutely love it because once it's connected to my PayPal and I think you can connect it to stripe as well everything is just automatically imported into wave and so i just go and then i look i think it takes about 24 hours for it to all populate and so if i receive a payment today by tomorrow i can go into wave and i'll see my paypal payments i received yesterday and it allows me to be able to do my bookkeeping to be able to do all my all that good accounting stuff so that i'm reporting my income correctly to the government and even if you don't have to necessarily report your income to your you know the government in your country i think it's just good practice to do this because you'll be able to see where exactly your money is going how you can begin to put money away and put it in investments right because we're not just going to be on the struggle bus forever just trying to make money just from month to month but we're also going to be trying to put money away for the future right and so i like to begin to think about those big picture long-term goals that will allow you to be financially secure especially when you are in retirement. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And once again, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and here are a few more videos for you to watch.